Hello everyone, welcome to Unable Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new motion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create a floaty liquid logo reveal in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after creating your composition, as you see in my comp, I have this logo holder here and here inside I have this text layer so you can create your text layer or just add your logo to work with and then I'm going to back to the main comp and then I'm going to apply card wipe effect and as you see that's what we got when we apply it so basically it's just splitting the layer you applied it to it and here we have columns and rows as you see and here we have this flip axis so now we have rows and if we want to have columns we need to put that to y and if we want to have both we need to set these to random and so we got something like this and so for now i'm going to put here 150 and 5 on the rows so we got something like this and what I'm going to do is animating this. So here we have this position here. I'm going to set keyframes here and make sure this is at zero. And so I'm going to put five on the amounts for each one. And then after one second, I'm going to zero out all of these. So let's preview and see how this looks like. Okay, we got something like this. And as you see, we want on one second, we, we don't want to have these kind of uh, split in here. So here we have transition completion. So I'm going to sit there zero. And at half of these, we're going to put there 50%. So we got something like this. And we want to put transition width to 100% as well. So it's going to start like gray and then getting like this. So I'm going to apply fill effects and let's put that to white. So it fixed that problem here. And of course we can add rotation animation if we want that as well. And as you see here, we want that to start really small so we're going to animate card scale as well so from 0.2 and at one second we want that to be one so let's preview this okay this is pretty cool that what we got so now i'm going to easy is all of these and then copy and after one second, I'm going to paste that and then reverse the keyframes here. So let's preview now. Maybe the end, we want it to be a little bit longer. Okay, that's look pretty cool. So now what I'm going to do is actually pre-compose this and let's rename this logo animation and move all attributes and hit okay. And then I'm going to apply matte choker to this. And just by applying this, you can tell what's happening here. It's give us some nice look effect. So it's starting there. So at one second, the animation stop. I want to keyframe all these and put this to three or two. And then before that, we want this to be at maybe 10, five. So you can experiment to see how that looks. Okay. And then I'm going to copy these keyframes and maybe here I want that to animate as well. So gray levels softness. So you can basically just experiment and see how you want it to look, but we can do that later. So I'm going to copy these and after one second as well here, I'm going to copy and then reverse these keyframes. So we're going to get something like this. Let's preview it.
Okay, we still have to do a lot of things here to make it look better. So what I'm going to do is Control D to duplicate actually this layer here. And for the bottom one, I'm going to add fill and let's give that a nice blue there. And for this one, hit U so we can uh, see these keyframes. We want to move it maybe right here. And what we want here, we want that to change this. So maybe we're going to put this choke to 80 and this maybe to 50. So we're going to or less. And then we want to put this just back a little bit. So we want that to be on top. Just something like this. And I'm going to copy these and just remove these here paste them in their reversed keyframes here. And so the idea now we have two different colors. So now I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. Let's rename this to effects and apply roughing edges. And just by apply roughing edges, you can tell it's give us a nice look there. So let's preview this again. So as you see, this look pretty cool. We haven't done anything to roughen edges, but what we're going to do actually, let's reveal this keyframe. So at one second, we want to animate this offset turbulence. So if we animate the Y, we're going to have some secondary animation there. So we want to add a keyframe from zero. So we want that to start actually right there and and they're at 200. So we're adding that animation here. We need a hold. We have the animation. And then we're going to add another secondary animation on this bottom one. So I'm going to add turbulence displace. And by adding that, you can see what's going on here. It's a fake that one. But what we want here is to change the displacement to vertical displacement here and then what I want is add a keyframe there at amount and there I want to put that to zero and here I want it to stop later so we want that to be enemy as well so from 100 or actual let's put that to minus so it start from bottom I'll see if we move that, that's what it's doing that vertically. So we want it then to start early there. So we're going to add a keyframe there and then put their 100 at the end. And so let's preview and see how this looks like. Okay, it looked pretty cool. So we need to add a little bit of more details to this animation. So here I'm going to apply another roughing edges on this logo animation comp. And here on evolution, I'm going to see there times times 50. So it's just basically, let's show you what he's doing. It's just like going to like move those turbulence of the roughing edges. So let's add that. So we're going to copy this and paste it to the other comp here and then just change this one to maybe 80. So we have just different looks. Let's preview this again. Okay, that's look pretty cool. So we are going to add even more details to this animation. So we're going to open this logo animation comp. And here I'm going to duplicate this one, hit you to reveal these keyframes. And what we want here, we want that to start maybe from 0 0.4. And we want to change these timing randomness to 1. And let's change this one to 0 0.5. So we have some random there. And I'm going to change also here the columns. 
and even a row, so we have some variations. Maybe I'm going to put there 10 in this to 200. So maybe scale that even more. Let's put that 0 0.2. And for the second duplicates, I'm going to shift this keyframe so the animation end late and doing the same thing for the out transition. So we want it to start early. So this is the idea here. And let's preview to see how this looks like. So this was the tutorial today. Hope it was very useful for you guys. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching.